Whether they're fresh out of college or been in the workforce for years, consumers facing a mountain of student debt are constantly looking for help. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker reports on steps being taken in Illinois to protect Illinois students. You bring in how much a month? About $1,400. And your student loans are how much a month? About $1,800. The math is bad. Breer Harris racked up $65,000 in student loans by the time she graduated from Ferris State University with a degree in communications, and eventually she got a job in event planning. It was very stressful. Um, some nights I cried just looking, like budgeting, trying to figure out, you know, what, I, what needs to be done, what needs to be paid. And like millions of others, Harris said she called her loan servicer for help on how to tackle the bills. To me, it wasn't helpful. It was not helpful at all. Harris's concerns echo those of the nearly 1,600 who filed complaints in the last year against the private companies in Illinois that are supposed to offer consumers the best options to repay their loans, but officials say they don't. Instead of necessarily telling you about income-driven repayment programs, they're putting you into a forbearance or a deferment uh, where you are continuing to, uh, to gain interest, making your lo loan larger at the end of the day. Madigan is supporting a bill proposed by State Senator Daniel Biss that sets up new rules, among them forcing companies to help consumers choose the least expensive payment plan. And if the state government finds that they are not fulfilling the rights and responsibilities laid out in this bill, then the state government has the ability to pull the license. Now, we reached out to one of the largest loan service providers in the state, and they said the proposed bill would only add more layers to a system that is already overly complex. The bill has already cleared the Senate committee and could come up for a vote tomorrow. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News, back to you, Robin Erica. Dorothy, thank you.